Hello everyone again, welcome back to science class, day four, with Kevin and, this time, my helper. Today we're going to be talking about how much pressure we live under, and it's a lot. There's this thing called atmospheric pressure, and it's uh, a lot of pressure, it's actually 14 pounds per square inch. Think about all of the air that we live under. You're standing on the ground on the earth, and there's a huge stack of air above you. It goes from the earth all the way up to the sky. And all this air actually weighs a little bit of something. Not too much, but a little bit. And um, all that air stacked on top of us presses down upon us with the pressure of about 14.7 pounds per square inch. And you don't really feel that pressure because there's just as much pressure inside of you that is pushing out with the same amount of force. So even though there is 14 pounds on a little square inch on your arm, let's say, pressing down, there's just as much pressure inside your arm pressing out. So you don't really feel it. There's no pressure difference. Well, we're going to see today what happens if we take a pop can and we're going to remove most of the pressure that's inside the pop can and we'll see once what happens. See how much this atmospheric pressure that we live under can actually do. We're going to see what happens, what would happen if all of the pressure inside of you were taken out. <laughs> so think about that. Alright, watch closely. I will show you exactly how to do this. You can do it at home with some empty pop cans if you have around. Make sure they're cleaned out, rinsed out well. And uh, you can do this also. This also again involves a stove, so Again, do this with your parents' supervision. All right, let's get right to it. All done. Okay, like I said before, first of all, get an empty pop can, rinse it out, make sure it's uh, not doesn't have any uh, residual pop inside. And we're going to put about a tablespoon of water inside of this. And then we're going to put it on the burner and heat it up to boiling. If you use warm water, it'll heat up a little faster. So, I have some water here and a tablespoon measuring spoon. I'm just going to pour that inside my pop can. Okay, it's about the right amount. <clears throat> then I'm going to put it on the burner and crank it on high. Alright, so that's going to take a few minutes to heat up and start boiling. We'll know that it starts boiling by some of the noise that it makes, and also um, the steam coming out of the, of the open spout. Um, again, make sure the pop can is empty. Never ever put a full unopened pop can on the stove, unless you don't like your kitchen. Alright, in the meantime, while our pop can water is heating up, I have something fun you could try. Now, this could get a bit messy. I've practiced this a couple times and I've nailed it every time, but what we're going to try to do is get this egg into the glass of water without breaking it and with only moving the plate. I'm not even going to touch the toilet paper roll. So what I have here is a glass almost full of water, just a small plate on top. You could use a, uh, a tin pie pan would be perfect for this also. Um, I'm using a plate and it's ceramic so that's why I have some pads here to, to catch it so it doesn't break. And a uh, toilet paper roll and an egg sitting on top. So what I do is I give this plate a nice sharp hard whack and the plate's going to sail out and the egg is going to land in the cup. Hopefully. So. <laughs> This is probably something more for the older ones to do. Uh, you can practice and see if you can get the egg landing in the cup every time. Maybe have a, a rag ready by your counter in case the egg misses and makes a mess. <laughs> and make sure your mom's okay with this too. Alright, let's try it once. See if we can do this. One, one, two, three. There we go. Worked out perfect. Try it, see if you can get it.
All right, our pop can is ready to go. We got steam rolling out of it and it's boiling inside there. I can hear it. So perfectly, it's ready to go. Get a salad tongues, get a dish with some ice water inside of it. Put some nice ice chunks in there. Get it really cold, uh, stir it around a bit. So we've got really cold ice water here in a dish right beside our stove. I got salad tongues to grab my pop can with because this pop can is very hot right now. And very swiftly, we have to do this fast, right? I'm going to grab the pop can and flip it over upside down into the ice water dish. Okay? Here it goes. One, two, three. <clears throat> there we go. The pop can is completely crushed. Why? All because of atmospheric pressure. We took most of the pressure out of this pop can by turning the air inside into steam, which is very light and doesn't have much pressure. And then we put the pop can upside down into some ice water and it cooled the can very quickly. So all that steam that was inside there turned back into water and there was no air left, at least not much air. And since there was no air inside, no air pressure inside, all the air pressure outside from this stack of air from here all the way up to the sky completely crushed this pop can into nothing. So go ahead, give it a shot, see if it works for you. Um, again, this might be something a little more for the older students and that's just fine. <clears throat> Tomorrow, uh, we are going to do something that's uh, great even for uh, little preschoolers. Uh, you'll need cornstarch and water. Basically, this is all you'll need. So maybe you already know what it is. We did this at school already. But have cornstarch on hand. If you don't, uh, see if you can borrow some or something and we'll do some fun stuff tomorrow with that. Okay, as always, have fun, be safe, and um, see you tomorrow.